In this video, I'm going to show you one of the common tests, which is known as a neurodynamic test for sciatic pain. It is called the slump test. The patient, for instance, will have pain on the left side, so she might complain of hamstring or pain even in the lower limb, the calf foot. So it is probably in more relevant to test the right side first so the patient knows what it is you're trying to achieve. And once you've done the non-symptomatic side, you can then test the symptomatic side. We can do it in stages if you prefer, and the way we do it to start with is, I normally will get my patient sitting upright, and then, so this is the non-symptomatic leg, and then we get the patient to slowly extend the leg, as part one, and then dorsiflex is part two, and then with this case, she's going to lean forward, part three, and then add in the last stage of neck flexion, which is why it's called the slump test. So she knows exactly what it is she feels from that one, and relax. So if the patient has some form of um, neural entrapment around L4, 5, or S1 nerve root, then you might find just by slowly straightening the left leg, the patient will probably already feel it. So by adding in the other components, it might be a little unrealistic and it might actually irritate. So this would be known as the slump test.